Hey, Booktube, it's time for another book haul. I got my ticket for the long way round. Well, yes, this happened. <laughs> I haven't done a lot of book buying lately, so this, I was about due. And I, you know, chalked this one up to my friend Christina Marie, who went to Book Outlet and bought a bunch of books, then put them on Instagram, and I looked at her, her stack of books and I realized I had all but two of those in my cart, which is an ongoing thing that I keep on the Book Outlet website. Yeah, so I caved and bought all the stuff in my cart. Yeah. Before I show you what those are, I want to tell you about why I don't ever haul my audiobooks or my ebooks. I don't do that because I have so many. I get a daily email from BookBub and they always will tell you about free books on Amazon usually and um, I also look through Amazon's free and cheap books selection fairly often and so I pick up all kinds of ebooks there I have probably more than I'm ever gonna read but I also get my audiobooks a lot of times from the library so um, you know I don't really haul those because it's a library book I know some people do but I just I, I listen to so many books that it's just kind of pointless to try and haul them. And to be fair, a lot of what I listen to on audio, if I really like it, I buy it in print. So you see that a lot in the books that I haul. So let's get to the books. First of all, I picked this up at a library sale. I was up in the big city where I live, uh, near where I live, and beautiful library. I had to go to a thing in the library, and so I, of course, went over to see if they had any kind of an ongoing library sale, and they did. So I got this. It's Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder, and this sounds so good. I actually have this on audio, so I thought it sounded good at some point in the past, and I've just never gotten to it. But this is about a girl who becomes a king's taster. So she's the person that tastes all the king's food so that if anything is poisoned, she'll be the one to die and not the king, which, you know, probably not the best job to have if the king has a lot of enemies. But there's a plot twist, and so something happens, and it just looks really interesting. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I think I may have to move this up on the TBR. Okay, then on to the books that came out of the box. First one is Exodus, and this is by Julie Bertagna, and it is uh, post-apocalyptic, you know, and I'm a sucker for those. I think it's YA. <laughs> what else would it be? I'm pretty sure it's YA, and I'm pretty sure also the reason I picked this up was because it was a 99 cents. So, you know, I'm good for post-apocalyptic 99 cents. <laughs> this should be interesting. More YA. I picked up The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski. I listened to this on audio and it was narrated by Justine Eyre. I don't really like Justine Eyre at all as a narrator, but this book was amazing. And if I liked the book well enough and she was narrating, that tells me that I loved this book. I really did. So when I saw it for cheap, I had to grab it up. I really enjoyed it. It's, I think it's gotten mixed reviews, but I really enjoyed it. It's fantasy, YA fantasy, kind of um, based on the Roman Empire. I already had Glitch by Heather Anastasiu, and I think I got this from Book Outlet as well. I think I got this, I don't know, a while ago. But when I saw the two other books in the series, which are Shut Down and Override, I don't know which one is book two and three, but when I saw them for cheap, I went ahead and grabbed them. So now I have the whole series, and I haven't read this yet. I like the concept. It's YA, dystopian, and um, yeah, I like the concept. I don't know if I'll like the books, but at least if I do, I have all three of them now. When I was at Books A Million, I had picked up Point of Retreat by Colleen Hoover. And so when I saw Slammed and This Girl, both um, by her in this series, it's the Slammed series, I grabbed these at Book Outlet. So now I have this whole series. I have listened to Slammed and I have listened to This Girl on audio. I started to listen to Point of Retreat, but I just didn't, wasn't feeling the narrator. I'm not exactly sure why, but so, you know, I need to read this one. But again, I have the whole series, even though I've read most of it. Also, on a previous order from Book Outlet, I had gotten Monument 14. So when I saw Monument 14 Sky on Fire, 
I grabbed it up. You know, this is not a very big book. Well, actually, neither of these are very big books, which kind of surprised me. But the third book in this series, I think, is out now. So I'll wait till it, you know, I'll buy that on sale. And I've heard mixed reviews about this series, but I have a feeling I'm going to like it. It's post-apocalyptic, so yeah, yeah, I'm probably going to like it. I have heard that it's written in kind of a juvenile way, and so I don't know if I'm going to find that to be true, but I'm up for giving it a try. I really like the series um, Article 5 by Kristen Simmons, and I found uh, Breaking Point, which is the second book in this series, and you know, so now I own the second book, but not the first or third. But I have little doubt that I will be able to find them on sale. So when I saw this at Book Outlet, I grabbed it. Plus, it's hardback. I try and usually grab the hardbacks when I can. Yeah, I just prefer those. And I picked up Archetype by M.D. Waters. I just read the sequel to this. It's a duology, um, Archetype and Prototype. Love this book. This is adult dystopian. And... I absolutely loved it. I love the concept. It's about clones. Uh, it's probably all I need to say about it, but I really liked it, so I grabbed it. And these last two were my absolute delight to find. I was so happy, and they are Midnight City and the Severed Tower. I didn't realize that I picked up Midnight City in paperback, so I they have it in hardback, and I'm going to order it in hardback um, here shortly. But I love this trilogy. Love this trilogy. It is the Conquered Earth series by J. Barton Mitchell. And this is so good. I love the characters. I love the world. It's There's science. There are aliens. There are tribes of kids, sort of like Lord of the Flies. Um, one of the main characters is a bounty hunter. And he has the greatest dog. Greatest dog. There's a little girl who is kind of, uh, she's got some paranormal stuff going on. There's a girl who is uh, brilliant in terms of science and what she can do, how she can put, um, like, um, a like, she understands science at an atomic level. So she can combine objects that have been changed, uh, like, at an atomic level, and she will uh, make them do stuff. It's so cool. It's like, she'll have, a, like, two quarters and a bottle cap and a rubber band and a gum wrapper and she'll put them all together in an order and then she'll throw it at you and make you float. <laughs> it's cool stuff like that. This series, just more people need to be talking about this series. The last book is called Valley of Fire and it's due out in December and I, for one, cannot wait. I listened to both of these on audio. They were narrated by Kirby Hayborn and, you know, I go hot and cold on Kirby Hayborn, but for this series, he was so good. He was spectacular. He was just stunning. I loved him. So read these books and start talking about them because they're just so good and they need a whole lot more hype. Okay, so there is the book haul. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this whole thing, but anyway, if you've read any of these books and you have an opinion on them, I would love to hear it because I'm always up to hear what people think and have a discussion about any kind of a thing, any kind of a book, any kind of a topic, you know, whatever. So that's it for the books for now, and I will be back the next time with more books that I order from Book Outlet when I do a book haul, probably, although I have to go travel soon, and I'm going to go near where they have an Ollie, so, yeah. So you know what happens when I go near an Ollie's, yeah. Many books happen. Many books come into my possession. Yeah, anyway, so that's it for now for me, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Me by my talk, oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone.